And imagine waking up one day to find the street outside your home submerged in water. This is not a scene from a disaster movie, but an alarming reality for millions of people worldwide. Our planet is facing an unprecedented challenge. Global sea levels have been steadily rising, inch by inch, year after year. With a shocking increase of about 8 inches since the late 19th century, when reliable record-keeping started, this slow yet relentless rise has become a cause for grave concern. And the predictions for the future are even more disconcerting, projecting a potential increase of another one to 8 feet by the end of this century. You might be wondering, what's causing this steady ascent of our world's oceans? The primary culprits are thermal expansion and the melting of land-based ice. As our planet warms, so do our oceans. This warming causes the water to expand, leading to higher sea levels. On the other hand, increased temperatures are also causing glaciers and ice sheets to melt at an accelerated rate, contributing additional water to our already swelling seas. The consequences of these rising tides are far-reaching and devastating. Coastal cities, home to millions of people, are particularly vulnerable. Roads are flooded, homes are damaged, and lives are uprooted. Moreover, this is not a distant threat, but a present and growing danger, with some cities already feeling the effects more acutely than others. This is no longer about the future, but about the here and now. It's about the places we live, the people we care about, the communities we are part of. The rising tide is not just a threat to our environment, but to our very way of life. The consequences of this rising tide are far from equal, with some cities feeling the effects more acutely than others. Let's delve deeper into the impact on these cities in the next scene. One such city is Venice, Italy, a place where the effects of rising sea levels are not just a future prediction, but a present reality. Picture Venice, a city renowned for its unique charm and rich history. Built on a collection of 118 small islands, the city is a marvel of architectural ingenuity. However, this enchanting city is in peril. Venice is sinking. Slowly but surely, at a rate of 1 to 2 millimeters a year, the city is succumbing to the sea. The rising sea levels are not a distant threat for Venice. They are a present reality. The city's residents are no strangers to aqua alta or high water. This phenomenon used to be a rarity, happening only a few times a year. But now, the city is flooded on a regular basis. The water rises, seeping into homes, businesses and historic structures. The relentless onslaught of the sea is causing irreparable damage to the city's intricate architecture, eroding the foundations of centuries-old buildings and disrupting the daily life of its inhabitants. The majestic Piazza San Marco the lowest point in the city is often the first to flood. This iconic square, once a symbol of the city's grandeur, is now an emblem of its struggle. The basilica, a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture, is under constant threat, its precious mosaics and marble floors often submerged in salt water. But the people of Venice are not standing by idly as their city sinks, they're fighting back. One of the most significant efforts to save Venice is the Mose Project. This ambitious endeavor, named after the biblical figure Moses, who parted the Red Sea, is a system of movable barriers designed to protect Venice from high tides. These barriers, installed at the three inlets through which water from the Adriatic Sea flows into the Venetian Lagoon, are meant to rise during high tides, preventing the sea from inundating the city. This project, though fraught with delays and controversies, represents a beacon of hope for the city. It embodies the resilience and determination of the Venetians in their battle against the rising sea. Yet, it is also a stark reminder of the magnitude of the threat that coastal cities around the world face due to rising sea levels. Venice is a city under siege, not from a foreign invader, but from the very element that gave it its unique character, water. 
The city's struggle is a testament to the tangible and immediate impacts of rising sea levels, a wake-up call to the world about the urgency of the situation. While Venice is fighting back, the battle against rising sea levels is far from over. Venice is not alone. Coastal cities around the world are facing similar threats. The specter of rising sea levels looms large over many metropolises. Take Miami, for instance. The city is built on porous limestone, which allows water to seep up from the ground, making it particularly vulnerable. With even a minor increase in sea levels, Miami could witness widespread flooding, leading to the displacement of people and loss of property. Then, there's New York. The city's vast network of subways and tunnels faces a grave threat from rising sea levels. The Superstorm Sandy in 2012 gave us a grim preview of what the future could hold. A surge in sea levels could inundate these subterranean systems, crippling the city's infrastructure and economy. Across the globe, in Shanghai, the story is not much different. This bustling metropolis, home to over 24 million people, is one of the world's most vulnerable to rising sea levels. A significant rise could displace millions of people, causing an unprecedented humanitarian crisis. The potential impacts go beyond human settlements. Rising sea levels can wreak havoc on wildlife and ecosystems too. Coastal habitats, home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, are at risk. The loss of these habitats could lead to the extinction of many species and disturb the delicate balance of our planet's biodiversity. But it's not all doom and gloom. This imminent threat also brings an unprecedented opportunity. It's a chance for us to rethink our relationship with nature and take decisive action. Coastal cities are investing in sustainable infrastructure and exploring innovative solutions. From building seawalls and levees to creating living shorelines that use natural barriers to protect against sea level rise. However, these measures come at a cost. The financial burden of coastal defense is significant. It's a price that is borne not just by the coastal cities, but by the entire world. The rising sea levels are not just a threat to these cities, but a call to action for the entire world. It's a call that we can't afford to ignore because in the end, we're all in the same boat and it's up to us to keep it afloat. The rising sea levels are a stark reminder of the urgent need to address climate change. They serve as a wake-up call, a nudge to step out of our collective slumber and confront the environmental crisis we're facing head-on. We cannot afford to ignore this issue any longer, for the future of our coastal cities and indeed our planet hangs in the balance. The first step in addressing this problem is to drastically reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. These gases, primarily carbon dioxide and methane, are the main culprits behind global warming, which is causing the polar ice caps to melt and sea levels to rise. Reducing these emissions involves making significant changes in the way we live and work. We must transition from fossil fuels and embrace renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and hydropower. Investing in renewable energy is not just an environmental imperative, but a smart economic move as well. The renewable energy sector is booming and provides a plethora of job opportunities. This transition could stimulate our economies while saving our planet. However, this is not a battle that can be won by any one nation alone. Climate change is a global issue requiring international cooperation. Countries need to come together share resources and knowledge, and work towards a common goal. This calls for strong leadership, transparency, and a commitment to put the well-being of the planet above national interests. That said, the responsibility does not only lie with governments and corporations. Each one of us has a role to play. Small actions, when multiplied by billions of people, can transform the world. We can reduce reuse, recycle, and make more environmentally friendly choices in our daily lives. Remember, every action counts. Whether it's choosing to bike instead of drive, planting a tree, or switching to a renewable energy supplier, your choices matter. The power to change the future of our planet lies in our hands. The time to act is now. The future of our coastal cities 
and indeed our planet, depends on it. Rising sea levels are a clear and present danger, threatening cities across the globe. We've journeyed through the alarming data, witnessing the relentless rise of our oceans. We've explored the plight of Venice, a city under siege, a harbinger of what could be a new normal for coastal cities worldwide. We've also examined the global implications, how this is not just an issue for those on the coastlines, but a crisis that could impact every corner of our world. The ripple effects of displaced populations, economic instability and loss of cultural heritage are far-reaching. Most importantly, we've heard the call to action. We've seen the innovative solutions and the proactive steps that are being taken. This isn't a battle lost. It's a fight that we can win, but only if we act now. We have the information, we have the solutions, and now we need the will to act before it's too late.